Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and redirect SolidWorks to find uh, template files, uh, template documents that uh, suit you. Okay, so in this case, I've got my own folder structure here in which I've placed all of the files. These are the files that I would have sent you if you were my students, or they could be the files that you've created. I've just stored them in my own folder so that I can take them wherever I want and uh, they are not dependent on what SolidWorks does or doesn't do. Um, so let's go to the splash screen and I'm going to show you a little bit of how SolidWorks uh, works. So when, when you click open, so let's go to novice. If you're on the novice view, you should get these three types of, of files. So part assembly or drawing. Those are those are document um, files, uh, document templates. If you click on the advanced um, button at the bottom, you'll see that you get a tab with sheet format. That's following the path or the last folder in the path that SolidWorks uses. So we're going to leave this in place, but we're going to add a new template. We're going to add a new tab here with your own um, templates in that, in that uh, tab. Okay, so I've, I'm opening a part file. This isn't necessary for this exercise, but um, just to show you how the options button works, because that's what we're going to be using. So that's this little gear symbol. If I open that, you'll get your op options. Um, before I opened a file, the document properties would not have been available. Um, you would simply have had the system options. So we're going to use the system options first, and then I'm going to show you a little bit about the document properties tab as well. So go to file locations. That should be about halfway down. If you click in that, you'll get a drop down box for um, showing all of the templates. So if I click on this, you'll see all of the templates folders for all of the template files that you can possibly have in SolidWorks. At the moment, um, the top one, document templates, this is the one we're going to use the most. Um, currently, it's set to the standard SolidWorks template. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you a little bit um, of how you go, one short way of how you can shortcut this if you wanted to, if you wanted to replace this all together. You could say edit all, and then you get this table, and in the table you could select say that um, path and then you could go back to to the uh, file location in the file explorer in windows um, so if i click in this box here the address box that'll turn blue and i can say Control c to copy that address and then i can come over here and i can say i can click on all of that whoops just don't click the whole thing um, you should be able to just select the whole lot and say control v okay that'll replace that um that address i don't want to do that so i'm going to control z and go back to what that is and save it uh, because i want to keep this address and instead i want to add a new address which is the one i've just shown you so when i add a new address it'll say select folder at the top um, since I've already copied that address, you can click inside the address line and say Control V and you'll see the new address appears and then you can go use the go to button and say select folder. And there we go, we have two addresses now that SolidWorks can use. Now if you leave them as they are, SolidWorks will def default to whichever one is at the top. So I want my address to be at the top, so I'm going to move it up. and. Uh, that's now set. So we've got two addresses. Um, apologies for that. Uh, let's go back to the show folders for drop down box and select drafting standards, which should be somewhere halfway down. And this is arranged alphabetically, so it should be easy to find. Select that one, and you'll see once again that you've got a standard address. We're going to add an address. Um, it should now default back to the one that you've just chosen. So you can say select folder and there you see you've got two addresses now. I'm going to move this one up so that my address or your address is at the top. And then we'll do it one more time. Show folders for and this time we're going to select sheet formats. And then we're going to say add. 
it'll default to whatever the last folder was that was selected select that folder select the address here move it up and you're essentially done you can say okay you should get an elevation request my screen is going to go black now because obs doesn't record this just say yes twice or however many times it asks okay so you wouldn't have seen that but i had to say yes twice um okay so let's exit this file so that we're back in the splash screen and go back into file new and go back to novice just to see that's what you would start off with in advanced you'll now see that there are two tabs at the top if i go to the one that i selected solidworks you'll see all of the template files that uh, i've loaded or that you will have copied so if I select one of these instead of one of those, that one's called part, I've called mine part SW17. That's just to indicate that it's derived from SOLIDWORKS 17. It's not going to make any difference to you which, uh, into which um, version of SOLIDWORKS you load it. So I'm going to say OK. And uh, what I've done in that template is I've created a properties folder. So if I go to properties at, at the bottom of the file menu, you'll see that there are one, two, three, four, five properties loaded, which means that if I um, go into a, a drawing file, those properties will be loaded. So I'm going to show you how that works in a moment. But first of all, let's create a simple part. So let's go to the top plane, um, put a sketch in place, I'm going to just make it something like a center rectangle, um, give it some dimensions. Let's do that again. All right, so that was a center rectangle. So let's make it 60 tab 80. That'll be fine. And then I can extrude this item so that I actually have a solid part of some sort. So extrude, and let's make it 20. All right, so this, this is, um, might be necessary. I'll show you in another video why. So I'm going to change the material here because going back to the file properties box, you'll see that whatever it is that I fill in here, um, will will be the evaluated value in your in your drawing file. I will show you that in a moment. You'll, you it might not make sense just yet, but one of the items which is automatically going to fill in is the material. So you can see I've got um, a command line in here, SW material. So if I go to material and I right click and I put a material in, so let's choose rubber or PET um, and go back to the properties panel you'll see now that the evaluated value is PET okay and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill the project in so I'm going to call this uh, master or whatever the project is going to be um, you will have to put caps lock on if you want to keep it in caps which you should and then I'm going to make the title in other words that's the Thing that we're actually dealing with so in this case it's just a block um, the manufacturing process would be let's call this injection molded that's very bad spelling and then the color um, black or brown or whatever it is going to be and that should be okay and now I should be able to make a drawing from this which will go straight to one of those templates so if I go, if I say file wait let's just save this first so we're going to need to save it as a part of some sort so I'm just going to drop it in um, test to I'm going to drop it into a current folder just for convenience sake and then we're going to say make drawing from part and you'll see that 
Once again, I have these two tabs. I've got uh, the, the SolidWorks standard sheet format tab, which has drawing in it. And I have these ones which I've loaded. We only really need one of these, but I've, I've made four of them because it's, then it's much easier just to select the one that you want straight away. So the size that you want. So if you say A3, you should get an A3 block. If I pull this in, uh, wait, before I pull that in, let's just leave that out. Oh, no, let's delete it then. So what I want you to notice, uh, too late, um, it's actually filled the material in. So I'm going to cl close this, don't save. I'm going to do that again. So we'll make a drawing from part. We'll select the A3 size, say OK. And you'll see that the material, the process, the color, the finish, uh, the revision, the project, the title, all of these details in your title block don't appear, right? But the moment that I drag this in, these things are linked to, as you'll see there, they're linked to the properties. So I think there's something I might have to show you in how to connect these, because not all of these are filling in as far as I remember. But you'll see, just notice here that the project has been filled in, the title has been filled in, the date has been filled in. The only thing that have not been filled in is your name, and then a logo, and then in this case, finish, which I've left for you to fill in on your own, okay? And then the revision block. Um, these are things I'll get to later. Um, I'm going to delete this for now. No, let's leave it. In fact, I think this might be what you have to do to resolve any issues. Go to Edit Sheet Format. If the color, for instance, is not working, um, so let's say it's just what it's giving you is a, a command of some sort, which will start with S SolidWorks, SW. It's a long string of, of, of words that don't make sense. If it's not showing you brown, all you need to do is click on that item there Go to this link to property in the um, properties bar, link to property, and there you'll get this dialog box. Um, say model found here, and then click on select selected component, which will be that one there. And then you should be able to select on property name and click on color. All right, so it's not appearing, so that's actually going to have to be fixed up. Although in this case, it looks like no, that's working. So you would actually select then, uh, let's try that in another way. Right, so you would select your drawing view specified in, in sheet properties, and then you would select color over there, and you'd say okay. Um, and you see, in this case, it's repeated, it's because I've select, selected it twice. But you do that, and then what I need you to do now is to fill in your name. So whatever your name is, just and whatever you want to call yourself. So it doesn't have to be your full name. Well, your, your name and your surname, but I mean, if you've got a nickname, that's fine. Okay, so those are the only two things you need to fill in. And then if you want to, you can drop... Um, a, a logo in here that is insert I think it's picture and then you would navigate to wherever your picture was um, I'm not sure if I can find one right now probably not let's see if there's an image here there's one there okay so this is probably too large and then you just scale it down and drag it across to where you want it to be like that Obviously, that will not be your logo, but you can create your own. Uh, so leave it as it is and then exit this. Okay, and now we're going to delete these items. Say yes to all. Um, and then you should actually now, if you save this as a template file, be able to use it in the way I've just described. So let's go to File save as um, and then when you type save as type and go to DRD DRD DOT which as far as I know is quite far down in your list you'll have a much longer list than I have right 
that one there. That'll take you straight to that uh, address that we had put in that earlier and then just rename it as the A3. Just overwrite that one. Okay, so what it's done now is it's loaded that model in as part of the template so that anytime you bring a new model in that has the properties, it'll load those properties. So you can see the properties have disappeared here, but all the rest has been saved. Okay, so let's exit this. And let's do this again just to see what happens. So file, make drawing from part, select A3, OK. Drag one of these across. The moment you do that, yeah, this all gets filled in. There are my three views. Um, my logo is filled in. My name is filled in. The date is filled in. So you don't have to do any of that. You can now focus just on um, dimensioning these views and in finish in adding other notes like if you wanted to add finish or other notes you would do that and then i'm going to show you how to use the revision table as well so thanks for watching i'm going to continue this in another video